we're thinking about the first position is uh, protest and complaints and, uh, you know, creating some noise about the situation, and uh, which is fine, but uh, people find it difficult to go into the second position, which is the kind of uh, about finding common ground and kind of sharing ideas and thinking about how you can build a movement to actually do something about your concerns. And, and then there's, all, there's the, the third position where there's your kind of developing ideas uh, with the notion about uh, putting something in place of the thing that you're trying to get ready, i.e. capitalism. Uh, because you can't fight from a position of just complaining about something that's wrong. You have to have something to put in its place. And uh, you have to build the credibility and the amount of people you'll need to do that. So you have to find common ground and you have to think about uh, coalitions and how you're going to work with each other. Otherwise, you just become a lot of people complaining. Uh, and after sort of like 10 or whatever years banking education, it's very difficult to get out of the habit of uh, relying on the, the, default, the default capitalist uh, model to solve your problems because you've been educated with it, you've basically been brainwashed with it uh, through your whole education. And uh, we know when you go to school, you don't particularly learn how to become a a, a decent human being, or any, you learn how to become one of the cogs in the, the marketing uh, and the machinery of making money for people uh, who are above you. And you'll accept the idea, you know, you're in school and you get bored. And you have to learn how to manage that boredom because you need to leave the place and go to a factory and just create the same kind of boredom cycle again. You know, like eight, the best eight hours of your day, every day. And possibly you'll get a mortgage and you'll look forward to these ideas about uh, having a, a place to stay, which is going to cost you a lot of money nowadays, and mortgage being you know, till death and gauging how much you're worth till you die in terms of uh, buying a house and different things like that. So everything you've got to look forward to, normal people that is in the capitalist system, is, is it's all wrong. <laughs> it's not made for human beings. It's made for machines and people that will do the bidding of the administrators of that machine. So that's the kind of banker's education so how would you replace that? Well, you would start looking at a place-based education, you know, looking at ideas of what people need to know to, get, to be getting on with their life and, and to be making decisions between each other. You know, mo most of that kind of education we get outside the school, uh, you know, for your uncles and your aunties and your acquaintances and the people you mix with every day. That's where your real education comes with it. The kind of education you need for living a life rather than uh, being subservient to a boss in a factory and working all your days uh, for a pension or whatever it is. That's not to knock people who do this. We, we all do it to, to, to a fashion. But what we're trying to say is there is something we can do that's better. And uh, But it also has to start in that basic idea about what we need to learn rather than what People are telling us that we should know. Unless we can create a social base where people feel confident and uh, a bit secure about what they're doing in life, and you know, because they're getting bombarded with debt and rent and uh, consumerism and all these kind of things. So people are never in any shape to look forward to the next idea or to even understand what's happening at the present because their time is taken up with this notion of survival, everyday survival. So anything that we do to encourage people is going to have to be in within their experience of what they're up against. So so it's, it's in-depth community work and talking to people and finding out what their issues are and how we can best help them to articulate these issues, to build that kind of social base, solidarity and security or looking at the bigger aspects of life, like global warming.